As you guys know, since arriving in the Volta region, I have tried an array of beautiful dishes. Most of them I have heard of before though. In this video, I'm going to share with you a snack that's super popular around here in the Volta region, but I have never heard of it, never tasted it, never tried it, never seen it out in Accra around where I live. Mom and daughter are going to take us through the process of making this. And of course, we're going to get to try it as well. Very, very interesting snack. Do stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed the video. This video is in collaboration with Lemonade Finance, a mobile app that allows you to send money to Ghana, Kenya and Nigeria from the UK and from Canada for free. Basically, there's zero fees when you send money using this Lemonade Finance app. Lemonade Finance also has the best rates, which means you're guaranteed complete value for your money. If you're not in Canada or in the UK, don't worry, they are planning on launching in Europe and in the US in the next few months. And once that happens, I'll be the first to share with you guys. I have used Lemonade Finance and it works really well. It's super fast, it's completely free as they said. You can download the app using the referral link in my description box below. Or if you download the app using the app store, you can use my referral code, which is Jasmine Amma. All of that information will be in the description box below. So today we're going to learn how to make this snack. It's called Jolly Kaku. And we have a lovely lady here. Jiejom. Jiejom. Jiejom Akpe. Hey God, that's long. Jiejom Akpe. Yes. Okay, Jiejom Akpe is going to be translating as her mom takes us through the process of making Jolly Kaku. Okay, so what do we have in here? What's in here and what's okay. in here? This is the maize. This is maize. Did yes. you toast it before you grinded it? No, we did not toast it. You just dried it? Yes. Okay. We use pepper, mm -hmm. ginger, mm -hmm. sikoni. This is the sikoni. Oh, okay. So yeah, okay. Yes. Ah, and rintia as well. Uh, okay. Oh, so this is like calabash nutmeg. Is it the smaller ones? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So you grinded that with the maize? Yes. So how long did you dry the maize for? Uh, only two hours. Two hours. Ah, okay. okay. After grinding it, you you see the color. Okay. Yeah, I can see uh -huh. it has okay. like it looks like a, it has this uh, red yes. color to it. So this is the porridge yes. that you're going to be adding. So this yes. is just corn flour and water that. cooked for about five minutes. Yes. yes. After that, then you miss it. Okay. You plunge salt oh you added salt to this as well yes okay. after salt you miss it hmm. this is the, the yeast water yes you're going to add it to there okay. there was missing it So this is spicy and it's sweet as well. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, uh -huh. before if you're going to fry, mm -hmm. then you put sugar inside again. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You add sugar to before, before you, you fry. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So it's the pepper that makes it that pink, gives it that pink color. Yes. Oh, okay. So who sells it? You or your mom? Yes. Your mom sells it. Yes. Oh, okay. This will be the first time I'm trying this. This is the first time I've actually heard of it. Like I've never, I don't even know what that is. So I'm actually super it. excited to try it. The lady is so lovely. Like I don't even understand what she's saying, but she's so nice. You can tell she's really excited to be on the video and I'm so happy. now it is finished oh okay so now you're going to leave it alone for yes. some time but well, till tomorrow four, morning yes four o'clock four o'clock yes. oh okay around four is when you fry it okay yes. okay four. so this i guess because of the yeast it will increase in size by tomorrow yes oh, okay well, yes we cover it and then 
the heat will be inside there. It will rise. Okay, okay. So we're basically done with the first part of the process. And tomorrow morning, we'll come back and then they're going to show us how it's fried. Looking forward to trying it. It's, it looks interesting. Good morning, guys. It's 4 a.m. in the morning and we're about to continue um, the cooking process for the Jolly Kaklu that we started making yesterday. So um, I think right now uh, we're about to prepare to fry it. So um, stay tuned and if, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. You can see the dough has doubled in size since we left it overnight. Yeah. Okay. I am you. You have to test it. Okay. So she's adding more sugar now. Mm. Yes. It wasn't sweet enough before. No, it is not sweet because of you have to test it whether the hey, salt the inside. Not, not because you're not okay. Okay. Please, you can wash your hand and test it. Okay. Okay. So I can taste salt, but not really sugar. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's why she's adding a bit more yeah. sugar. Okay. The charcoal is going in my eye. Okay, now it's, it's sweet. Yeah, I think it's sweet now. Yeah, she's added more sugar and it tastes a lot better now. The onion. Mm -hmm. Because of the onion, mm -hmm. he removed the scent of the oil. Right, so if there's any smells in the oil, mm -hmm. adding the onion takes the yes. smell out. Okay. Yes. Right. Please, eh? the oil, it is not hot. Remain a small time before it is hot. Eh? Okay. As you guys can see, it begins to puff up the moment you put it in the, in the um, hot oil. It looks a bit like kose or akara, you know, um, with a shape, you know, and it, even when I tasted the butter, it tasted a bit like that because of the spices in it. But obviously akara and kose is made from beans, but um, yeah, I think the spices are quite similar, like the chili, the ginger and stuff like that. Do they put ginger in akara? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, there's, there's this similarity in taste, um, aside from the sweetness that comes from this one. But yeah, I'll obviously have a bite later on so you guys can, um, can really understand what it tastes like. Yeah. yeah. So the jolly kakko is ready. As you can tell, it's nice and golden brown. It looks quite crunchy. She leaves it in the oil for about, say, 20-25 minutes before she takes it out. Can't wait to have a bite. So it's morning now, it's about 6 a.m. and 
auntie is pretty much uh, on her last batch of jolly kaklo she's almost done frying everything so we're finally gonna be able to have a taste test um, so we can give you guys feedback on our thoughts so it's ready and this is what it looks like so the insides are pink as you can see like that's how the it dough is was pink. It is red. it's more red. red oh okay okay cool um so their skin is very crunchy and then the inside looks very fluffy and they sell it with um peanuts as well so juliana is jejum's mom if you can't tell like they literally look like the same person it's just <laughs> one person is older than the other person do you sell it every single day? Yes, okay. only Sunday. You it's don't sell it on Sundays? Yes. Okay. And how much do you sell one? One for 50 pesos. Oh, okay. And the peanuts is? 50 pesos. Okay. And you sell everything? Yes. Oh, every day you finish it? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Then it's popular. Do you make a, bo a good profit from it? We get it best. Now, these days, are. The things are cost. Ah, okay. So you don't make as much as you used to make. Yes. Oh, okay. And how long have you sold it for? For a long, <coughs> long time. <coughs> was your mom selling it before and then you took over? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right. You're also going to sell it today. Who, she's going to sell it today yes. as well. Oh, okay, so both of you are going to sell it. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. What time do you normally go to? Me, yeah, I go eight, uh, 8 or 9. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right, guys, so it's time to have a bite. Okay. Okay, so this is really, it's still very, very warm. So I'm going to have a bite without the peanuts, and then I'll try with the peanuts as well. Um, this is good. It tastes like, <coughs> how do I, like normal buffer, like the crunchy one. But then this has a little bit of spice spice to it. This is really good. So people will eat this with porridge as well, right? Yes. Yeah. This you is... can use it for tea. tea. No. Cocoa. Anything. Uh, anything. Anything. Okay. Biao. Guinness. Oh, Guinness? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> it's not too early for Guinness, is it? Okay. Mm. Mm. This is good. This is really nice. I could easily have like oh, 10. Oh, wow, oh, fantastic. Mother <laughs> Pukumi, oh, 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 yeah. This is really, really good. She's inviting them to come try. All right, you guys. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much, Jejo, for letting us film. And thank you to Auntie Juliana for letting us film as well. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys want to contact or support Jejo and her family, I'll leave their number on the screen for you guys. 024. Seven nine zero zero five seven one. Okay. Does your number have mobile money on it as well? Yes. Okay. And what's the name on the mobile money? Jejoma Esther. Okay. There you go. If you're interested, you can contact her. The area we're in is Keta. So just in case you come around and you want to see them or whatever. Yeah. Oh, oui. Oh, oui. This place they call it Vui. Vui. Oh, okay. Keta Vui. Yeah. Okay. So this area is Keta Vui. You can support them using those numbers that I just provided. <coughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow your bliss so my life is short. Follow your bliss, Nani Payete. Follow your bliss, Nani Bissi Biaye. Follow your bliss, Nadine Matai. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>